Our next speaker is Ashley Colbert. She's a PH student with Dr. Jacqueline Lennis and Dr. Tamara Kinzer Usram in the Biomedical Engineering in the College of Engineering. Ashley has visited 20 different United US states in the past four years and has traveled to two other countries. She loves to sing and has written over 40 songs. She hopes to one day write a song for Beyonce. She will not be singing or writing a song for her 3MT. I know that for a fact because you can't use music or props. All right? So Ashley's title is Say Cheese to No Malaria Disease. If I asked you to count the number of infected red blood cells you saw on a prepared slide, you could probably do that. Now, if I asked you to prepare these blood smears, adjust your microscope, and accurately take, accurately take data for over 100,000 patients, that might prove a bit more challenging. But currently, this is the gold standard for diagnosing malaria. And in malaria endemic countries, they don't have the personnel or the equipment for this type of diagnosis. And over 400,000 lives have been taken due to malaria in just the past year and there are over 200 million cases of malaria. So commonly rapid diagnostic tests are used, but they're not standardized and they cannot detect very low concentrations of the malaria parasite. So when this malaria infected mosquito comes and bites a human, that parasite travels down to your liver cells where it reproduces until those cells burst and the parasite is released into your bloodstream and begins to infect red blood cells. As time passes, it infects more and more red blood cells, and then the patient will begin to experience symptoms. But if we can detect this malaria parasite before it continually reproduces and before patients experience symptoms, then we can prevent the spread of malaria and prevent malaria-related deaths. So what if I told you we could do that? Well, with my project, we use a smartphone and a drop of blood. Over 70% of people in Africa have a smartphone, so why not use it? So the drop of blood will be placed into this microchip, and we're able to use magnetic separation to separate out the infected red blood cells from the healthy red blood cells. So only the infected red blood cells make it to our imaging chamber. In this imaging chamber, we have microbeads and rolling circle amplification reagents. So rolling circle amplification can create thousands of copies of the malaria DNA, and it happens in under an hour, so you don't have to wait days for your results and it can detect these very low concentrations of the parasite. So after this amplification reaction, we place the chip into our device, and in this device, it takes a video of how those microbeads move. So imagine putting those beads into a smoothie versus putting those beads into a glass of water. They're gonna move a lot differently in the smoothie and a lot slower, and that's how they would move if malaria DNA is present. So with this type of technology, we could get diagnosis early enough to give treatment and prevent malaria deaths. So malaria, it's time for your close-up. Veal is our People's Choice Award. All right, and that is to Ashley Colbert. Congratulations, say cheese to no malaria. Come on up. <laughs> We'll take group photos in a minute, but we want you up here, and then we'll take a group of everybody who, who competed. All right? Our second place, and uh, the People's Choice Award gets $250 and your plaque. And I'll show you now. Their name goes on this plaque that's in the graduate school that they can come back with their grandchildren and say, hey, see my name on that plaque? <laughs> I want something at Purdue. So that will be, that hangs in, in the graduate school in Young Hall. And then each one also gets an individual plaque that we'll let them take pictures of, but then they have to give it back because they have to put their name on it because we didn't know who was going to win. So it's blank. We want to give them a one with 